Snaking between high-rise buildings, a racetrack has been constructed on the streets of downtown Detroit. But it isn't for the Grand Prix where high-powered Indy cars will scream through at breakneck speeds. That happens further down the street on Belle Isle. Instead, this track is for something very different with cars slapping it this weekend that look a little wacky and in most cases appear downright uncomfortable to drive. This is the Shell Eco Marathons Americas, where high school and college students from all over have come to participate in a different kind of racing on the streets of Detroit. The winners aren't the teams that cross the finish line first, but the ones that do so in the most fuel efficient manner. Like in traditional motorsports, completing the objective here takes bright minds willing to push the boundaries to innovate, a ton of dedication and teamwork that all culminates for the students here in Detroit. The Shell Echo Marathon is an event we've been doing for the last 30 years, uh, the last 10 years in, uh, here in the Americas, and uh, this is our second year in Detroit. And the Shell Echo Marathon is an opportunity for high school and college students to design, build, and run their own vehicles on the streets of Detroit to see who can get the best gas mileage. The idea is to get as much efficiency out of the energy that goes into these cars that they've built as possible. Students can choose to build vehicles in one of two categories. Prototypes, which are lower slung, often pod-like looking contraptions, or urban concept vehicles that look more like traditional cars with four wheels, doors, lights, and wipers. Within each category, teams can choose from one of seven energy sources, including gas, diesel, ethanol, compressed natural gas, and natural gas to liquid. If teams opt for an electric drivetrain, they can build a battery plug-in or hydrogen fuel cell. We're working on our prototype. It's an electrical prototype. We know that electrical cars are the closest to the future, so we start working on them. We're in the uh, prototype category, which means like it's pretty well all the rules are based around just pushing efficiency. Whereas Urban Concept, you can see them over here, they, uh, they're more about kind of like doing a little bit more practical, whereas we're all about pushing the limit. In Urban Concept, you have to have everything a normal car would have. It's more real world and we get to see all the different things like a normal car has, such as headlights and blinkers, and it, it actually gets it helps us bring in different types of engineering into the car that you wouldn't technically see. Uh, in prototype. The ultimate goal of students is to go the furthest distance on the least amount of energy. A lot of teams will be looking to achieve in the hundreds of miles per gallon equivalent, while some will even be targeting fuel economy that's in the thousands of miles per gallon realm in their respective energy category. Last year it was 682 miles per gallon on diesel and we got fourth place in our category. This year we're hoping to reach a thousand miles per gallon mark. With our new engine we're hoping we can do that, but if not anything better than what we got last year is great. We've been working with um, some optimization methods, and one of the things we found is that a pulse and glide is more optimal, so getting up to speed and then just kind of letting it coast down, come back and then pulse again. Uh, it's not even just a U.S. event. We've got students here from all over the hemisphere, eight different countries in South America, Mexico, U.S., uh, and Canada taking their vehicles that they built and actually running them on the same streets that Henry Ford tested his quadricycle on over 100 years ago. Uh, so that's a real opportunity for Detroit to be exposed to the students and the students to be exposed to Detroit. This brings uh, a number of great young people together. It's a catalyst for engineering and guess what? I think it's a fishing pond for companies that want engineers for the future. I think it's really cool that we get to come to the Motor City and have our Eco Marathon here. We get to actually drive the streets of Detroit and uh, you get to see all the big name companies around here and you get to meet some of the higher up people at these companies because they they come down, they're looking for interns or they're looking for full time employees and uh, it's just good all around to have that experience. We've got 1,300 kids here that are really, really passionate about engineering and one of the big challenges for us going forward is to, to find engineering talent that are going to produce the cars of the future. So this couldn't be more perfect for us having the access to the, uh, the kids, seeing the products that they're working on and there's so much synergy between what they're doing and how we develop cars for the future. As car makers continually look to improve efficiency of not only traditional gas engines, but also by exploring alternative forms of energy such as electric and hydrogen fuel cells, Shell is trying to mirror what OEMs are doing with the Eco Marathon. With students pushing the development boundaries in hopes of achieving maximum fuel efficiency, the competition potentially could be serving as a beta testing ground for solutions to our future transportation needs. All the carbon fiber, the whole thing, we've all built either in-house or with our sponsors, working close with them, um, but it's entirely new this year. We start manufacture uh, many stuff just to make it weight less. What did we 
we weighed till last year? 70 pounds with yeah. the engine and the body and everything in? Yeah, so our driver is heavier than our vehicle. This year we made a new chassis. It's a monocoque egg shape instead of our honeycomb. It's made out of carbon fiber. So I think this is a catalyst for the future. It's energy, it's innovation, and obviously it's teamwork, and that's so important how to become a winner in life. Grew up, never grew up thinking to be an engineer, and now that's what I want to pursue my career in. Since, since I was a kid, I, I want to know work in the cars, and America has a great engineers, and we want to prove our studies, our research, and we want to prove our prototypes. We just try our hardest to compete. We're really here uh, to get some experience in the fields that we want to go into. Most of the students here want to be engineers when they grow up and maybe even go to the colleges that are represented here. In the end, the University Laval team from Quebec took home the overall win by achieving 2,585 miles per gallon in its gasoline prototype, while the top urban concept vehicle came from Indiana's Mater D High School with its 793 mile per gallon result on gas. Other notable class winners include the Shop Girls team, who took top honors with a 1,115 mile per gallon result in their diesel prototype. Urban Concept Vehicles were also competing for an invitation to the first ever Shell Eco Marathon Drivers World Championship being held in London on July 3rd. There they will compete against other Urban Concept invitees from Asia and Europe for a chance to spend a week with the Ferrari Formula One team at its Italy headquarters to receive advice from race engineers on how to improve their cars for next year's Eco Marathon. The Shell Eco Marathon is all about pushing the limits and that's all we really come here to do. It's great to be here and see like the GM building over there and like really the heart of like the auto industry in North America. America, probably the world. Uh, it is the capital of mobility. Uh, this is an icon of American innovation history right here in Detroit. So many things were invented here. Motown music, uh, the automotive assembly line, new forms of uh, industrial relations, uh, architecture. I mean, it's just a great American city. It's also a city that's fallen on hard times, but now it's coming back. It's pulling itself back by its bootstraps. We want to be part of that and we really see Detroit as very much part of the future of automotive innovation as well. Well, the Shell Eco Marathon uh, means a lot to Detroit because it brings young people here and also we have the opportunity to showcase our city. You'll see cranes, you'll see buildings being built here. So important to the city, but more important is when these young people leave our city, they're going to be ambassadors for our city of Detroit and for the region, and that's very important to all of us. In addition to being a platform for high school and college students to flex their science and engineering muscles, the Shell Eco Marathon also brought in nearly 10,000 Detroit area grade school kids to interact with the teams in hopes of inspiring future competitors and innovators. But Shell's decision to bring the Eco Marathon Americas to Detroit is further proof of the city's resurgence. And after hearing from students, Detroit remains without question one of the world's automotive meccas. And don't be surprised if many of the competitors here end up with an automaker in the not too distant future. Representatives from area car makers were on the ground this weekend looking for interns and job candidates. And if you didn't make it down to this year's Eco Marathon in Detroit, then you're in luck because Shell has already said that it will return to the Motor City in 2017.